Welcome to your weekly. Welcome to your. Dude, we're, we're recording. What? We're, we're recording, dude. Oh, I was just listening to the new uh, Ariana Grande song, Seven Rings. Or as Tom Brady calls it, soon. Wait a minute. Welcome back to this week's installment of the Weekly Giddy Up. Today we have a lot to talk about, but first, Trevor, I remember last week I said if you were to go to the basketball game, we were guaranteed a victory. Did you go to the basketball game? Yeah, that rings a bell. Trevor, do you lots go to any of, of the basketball games? Lots of talent. Um, yeah, I've been to a game. <laughs> it's pretty fun. How was it? Did we win? No. Well... But we gave it our best, and that's what matters. Yes, and I'm sure if you showed up to the next game, they'd win. I, I, I promise you. I guarantee you. Yeah. I guarantee you. Man, Trevor, I'm telling you, you are a good luck charm for the school. If you go to all these games, I guarantee we'll win all of them. Yeah, maybe. We'll see. Now, speaking of basketball games, something that ties in with that, Winterfest. A lot of students have some questions about what Winterfest is exactly. Why don't you tell them what it's all about? So, for Spirit Days, Monday you can dress up as Wonder Woman or wear your favorite military and other camo clothes. Tuesday, you can wear your Flash of the Past where you dress up as The Flash or dress up in your throwback outfits. Wednesday is our Robin Day where you can dress up as Batman's famous sidekick or wear your circus attire, stripes and polka dots. Thursday is for Superman where you can reveal your secret identity as Clark Kent or dress up as a nerd. Or you can just dress up as me. Now what's on Friday? Friday is for our Wooster heroes, where you can red out in our new Winterfest shirts you can buy in the rally court, or you can just red out in general. Make sure also on Friday you go to the tailgater after school in the foyer, and you can go to the varsity games at 5 and 7 p.m. Man, those varsity games, the boys need all our support, the girls need all our support, so make sure you're there. Support the teams, and make sure we get that victory for the Winterfest week. And don't forget, have a good time at Winter Ball. Have fun. So now that we have Winterfest out of the way, why don't we take it to Mia Villarosa, our cult reporter for this week's club announcements. Hey guys, it's Mia, and this is the club announcements. Today we have Kai Prine and Parker Gibbons from the Wooster Players. Hi, I'm Kai Prine. I'm president of the Wooster Players. And I'm Parker Gibbons, and I'm the vice president. This past weekend, we went to the Northern Nevada Festival. And that's basically like our regionals for theater, like kind of like in sports. We had 14 people qualify in scenes and monologues for the state competition in March. So we'll all be going down to Vegas for that. Yeah. There um, are lots of fun workshops with professionals from Broadway or other theater communities. And they'll do workshops and we'll get to see professional shows while we're down there. Yeah, so but like when we were at regionals, that was more just like the competition aspect. But now like that we're going down there, we'll get to Experience. learn from professionals and have more of a on a unique experience, something that a lot of theater students don't get to go to. And we're lucky enough to have Miss Gibbons as our director because we she had really a ton of people, us. yeah, we had a ton of people qualify. And um, not a lot of schools have that much of their support com and yeah, community with it. Definitely. So yeah, we're, we're lucky to have her as help and all that. And yeah, so like we just meet up like all the time, like after school, especially like the last week before regionals. Yeah, just to rehearse, clean everything, get peer yeah. feedback. But yeah, that was a big thing of ours. We try to Critique try to each watch other. each other and rather than just um, the teacher giving feedback so we also um, are able to critique ourselves better and work together we're critiquing others but yeah it's a fun time yeah so congratulations to everyone that qualified Wooster players what a club right what a club you know i believe the Wooster players went to regionals this week didn't they yeah over at damani ranch high school yeah and i believe we had some students place for monologues and those students were parker gibbons stephen heinrich Evan Infantino, Kai Prine, Daniela Vasquez, Channing Ford, Holiday O'Brien, Izzy Barraza, Catherine Acedillo, Litzy Avia, Kat Dyer, Anya Mikesell, and Muscon Capilla. So big shout out to all the Wooster players who placed in their monologues, but I believe we had a little more going on with theater as well. For duet scenes, Holiday O'Brien and Anya Mikesell, Evan Infantino and Kai Prine, Parker Gibbons and Steven Heinrich, Muscon Capilla and Kat Dyer, Channing Ford and Izzy Barraza, and Kevin Shakirthi and Catherine Asadio all placed in superiors for their duet scenes. So big shout out to those Wooster players putting on a great show this weekend. Now let's take it over to our Colt reporter, Jesse, and his team for the Colt highlight. <laughs> that there 
you're obviously are things that make you happy, sad, but what you do with those emotions, whether it be a positive thing or a negative thing, is up to the individual. Your environment has a lot to do with everything, whether it be your home life, your work life, your personal life, your professional life. For students, it's home, it's school, it might be professional, they might have jobs. So all that affects how you come to work or to school every day. Then I think it adds to um, your whole outlook on life. A person's environment affects their emotions because it affects the way that they see things and the way that they think and it makes them like just think differently. Like if you have a bad environment, you're gonna just think about the situation in a totally different and like negative way as opposed to someone who has a more healthier environment which is like more positive and supportive. I feel like some people don't know how to deal with depression or problems that they have at home so they run to drugs, cigarettes, um, and that's a way they can self-harm. They don't necessarily need to hurt themselves. Um, the advice I would give someone who um, they're not, they're unsure of how to express, express themselves would be to pretty much do it for themselves, not for other people. But in order for you to be happy, you have to start with yourself. So I say, take a step back. Um, if you can't express yourself, write things down after something happens. Um, try to talk to a close friend, um, someone you look up to. Yeah. I'd say for sure make lists um, and make little like goals that you can accomplish throughout the day. Just because um, when you find those things that you can accomplish, it, it warms like something inside of you and you feel like you're doing something good. Or if you feel like you cannot express your emotions, that like you should find an outlet or something that you feel like spend time with yourself and then just think like what makes me the happiest and surround yourself with positive people. Not everybody deals with things the same way. Everybody deals with things differently. What might make somebody very sad and cry, other people might be very stoic and just get through it. Uh, some people laugh when they get nervous. Some people cry when they get upset. Some people don't do that. I think the biggest thing with emotions and expressing your emotions is being able to find somebody that you can communicate to and at least let them know how you feel on the inside. And maybe it's not how I look on the outside, but it's how I feel on the inside. But I've said this for a long time, there is no right or wrong way. Everybody deals with it differently, but to find somebody in your life that at least you can express how you feel on the inside. Great job adjusting this team for that cool highlight. Good stuff, great editing, so shout out to them. All right, so now let's take it over to our guest representative from the jazz band, Caitlin Hoon. So what's the deal with jazz? Uh, well, this past weekend, um, the Wooster Jazz Band traveled down to Folsom, California, and we were able to play uh, for people all around. Three of our members in the jazz band uh, received medals, including myself, Caitlin Hoon, uh, Giovanni Calderoni, and Maya, our singer. Folsom was a really good experience for everybody involved. Uh, as you probably have been seeing around campus, a lot of people got sweatshirts, uh, the official merch. But we have two upcoming events. Uh, on February 9th, we have Jazz in the Schools up at UNR. It's an all-day festival open to the public. Uh, we'll be playing most of our old set from Folsom, so if you aren't in town, you can definitely come and drop in for that. Uh, on Valentine's Day, we will be having a concert, a joint concert with the orchestra, uh, just the jazz band, in the theater, so be sure to drop in for that. All right, thank you for updating us and everything with the band. February 12th, there's a concert, be there. All right, Kaylin, thanks for coming. Uh, let's get Eddie back in here. All right, so always support the band. They always support the teams for basketball and football. So it's great to show that support back to them, and it's great for school spirit. So make sure you're there for February 12th for their concert. All right, so now let's take it over to our cool reporter, Bryson Parco, for the sports report. Hey, I'm Bryson Parco. Here's your sports report. Today, we have an interview with girls varsity basketball. Here's that. Um, it's been a little bit tough, but we're trying. We're putting everything we can into practice. Um, at least some of the girls are out for this, not the season, but they've been out for a while. Um, we've won a couple games. Now we have some highlights from the Varsity Boys basketball game from last Friday against Carson. Roll that footage.
shout out to the player of the game, Jesus De La Puente. He scored 19 points with four three-pointers. Amazing game, Jesus. Good job. The boys' success did not just happen overnight. They've been working very hard and improving their game as they've seen by these scores from the past few years. That's been all for this sports report this week. Back to you, Eddie and Trevor. So now we also have our weather report. Eddie, whether or not you should do that IB extended essay you've had two years to do. Of course. Whether or not you should try out for swim team. I can't swim. Yeah, well, I mean. Whether or not you should read out this Friday for our tailgater after school and going to our varsity games at 5 and 7 p.m. to support our Colts. Of course. So now that we got the weather report out of the way, let's take it to a Stephanie Tobar who has been vacationing in Chicago. What's the weather down like there, Stephanie? It's Chicago! Make sure you tune in next week and may all your favorite bands stay together. Don't forget to smash that like button, and we'll see you next week.